Hey everyone, this is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your typing with your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch. First I'm going to go through some simple tips and tricks that will help you with productivity as well as speed and then I'm going to go through some simple applications you can download to get your typing faster. Let's get started. To start things off, I just want to go through some general tips that will help you with speed and productivity with the standard keyboard on your iPhone. Now to demonstrate this, we're going to focus on the Messenger app. A lot of these will work in many different applications, but just for this example, we'll be using this. So the first thing you'll notice when you first start typing with your iPhone, when you go into that little box, you'll be brought up with some suggestions. And these will change depending on how you're typing and what you're typing. So for example, if I type the word hi, it'll come up with its own example of what I should type in next. And it'll say my, I'm, if I put how, so for example, if I was going to type how are you, as you can see, it's trying to finish the word for me. So how, and then now it's suggesting are you. So if you go with this and you get used to how it suggests, you'll be able to type a little bit faster. Now, if you're not a fan of the predictive suggestions, you can hold your finger on the emoji tab here and you can turn predictive off right there. Now for those of you who are annoyed by the number pad, so for example, tapping the number and then putting it in, it's annoying because then you got to tap back to get back to your letters. You can actually do this in one swift motion here. So you can just tap on the number and slide up to the number you want and then it'll return to your keyboard. And it's a little bit quicker. You can also use multi-touch with this. So if you open up the keyboard, you can tap the number you want and then let go and it'll return to the keyboard with the letters. Typing sentences is pretty simple, but it's a little bit annoying when you complete it because you do have to put in the period. So you'd have to tap the number pad and tap the period. But you do have a quick way that you can avoid this and that would just be simply completing your sentence and double tapping on the space bar. Once again, complete the sentence and just double tap on the space bar and you'll see that the period appears. Next is using cap locks. Now traditionally you would tap on the shift button and then you would type your letter but it would return back to the lowercase letters. To create a cap lock what you do is just double tap on the shift button. You'll see you'll get a little underscore underneath the arrow and this is going to give you the ability to type complete capitals all the way through until you do decide to turn it off. Now within this standard keyboard you have other variations of letters as well as other symbols you can enter in. The way you access them is simply just hold on any particular letter and you'll see there's all kinds of different variations with accents and everything that you can enter in. And in that same sense in the number section here with some of these symbols, so for example the money symbol here, if we hold on that, you'll see you have other symbols that appear as well. Now you can go through each number, each letter, each symbol to see if anything comes up for you. For the next tip, we're going to focus on Safari. So I've opened it up and I've started typing in the URL of a website that we're going to search for. Now, a lot of sites have different extensions like .com, .ca, .org, etc. So if you'd like to type that in, you can, but to do it a little bit quicker, you can hold on the period right here and bring up the most popular extensions. For the next tip, we're going to open up our settings application. We're going to tap on general and we're going to scroll down to where it says keyboard. Auto correction, auto capitalization, check spelling, cap locks, predictive, character preview shortcuts, these can all help you as well. And you can add them in, you can take them out if you don't like some of them. I know a lot of people hate the auto correct, but this is where all your settings are. And depending on how you type, these could help you with your productivity as well as your typing speed. Now from this section here, you can actually add text replacements. So these used to be called shortcuts in the past. You can see I created the Spock emoji shortcut here. So if you'd like to check that out, there's a link in the description as well as a card up top. But for example, if you wanted to add a shortcut or a text replacement as it's called now, you just tap add up top and you want to put in the phrase you're trying to type. So for this example, we'll just say nothing much. And then we will make our shortcut NM. So anytime I type in NM, nothing much should appear in theory. So we'll go ahead and save that. Now within our messaging app, if we type in NM, we should see a nothing much appear. So we'll type NM space and nothing much has appeared for us. Now lastly, you can download applications to help with your speed. So for example, this one here is called Typeris. And if you tap on play, it'll start the game and you'll start from level one and you'll progress as the game progresses and as you get better and faster. So we'll tap on one, we'll tap start, and it's going to show up with letters at the bottom and words and you wanna type them as fast as possible. So this says place, 
So we'll type that in, we got that. Now if you don't type it quick enough, for example, we'll let this one go. If you don't type it quick enough, it's going to drop another word on top, which means you aren't going as quick as possible or as quick as the level is. And as you play this and practice more, you should get quicker and you'll be able to advance to the levels. Now you can find many applications within the App Store here. I just searched for Type Faster, but you can see there's a whole bunch of different ones here. I preferred Typeris just because it looks like the keyboard was more modern for iOS 7 to iOS 9. These ones up top you can see are a little bit outdated with iOS 6 keyboards, but you can go through them, search for the ones you liked. And again, I liked Typeris here just because it was more like a game. And for me, playing a game and being competitive with myself or with others always helped me learn quicker and go faster. So those are some methods you can use to speed up your typing with your iOS device. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment box down below. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them there as well. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and follow me on social media. And as always, if you missed any of the previous videos on the iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, there's a full playlist of all the videos and all the tutorials in the description. Check it out. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.